All right. Um, there's also, I know what you have said. Well, then we won't give them money. Let's just give them discounts. Well, <laughs> trust me, you're not the first person that's thought of this. Bolton 177 is directed to all insurance providers, all insurance providers, all insurance companies, HMOs included, and any person defined under the Indiana Code of Insurance. Title insurance producers specifically. Specifically, while subject to the Indiana laws of insurance, you're also subjected to the laws of RESPA, which is, deals with the Real Estate Settlement Procedure Act. If RESPA is more restrictive than the Indiana law, then you must use the more restrictive rule. Okay? I'm not going to cite any examples and, and get you all confused. I'm just saying that Bulletin 177 deals with insurance. Title insurance specifically, which you guys are going into, also deals with RESPA. And in some cases, RESPA is more restrictive than the Indiana insurance law. If it's more restrictive, you have to use that. Okay. So any person engaged in the business of insurance is prohibited from paying, allowing, or giving any rebate, credit, reduction, discount, or abatement on a premium or a commission to a consumer that is not specifically stated in the insurance policy. So you can't give somebody a discounted title insurance because, hey, they've sent you a lot of business. We normally charge everybody 500. We're going to charge you 450. That would be a discount or a rebate. Can't do that. Gifts to a consumer of any value are prohibited if the gift is an inducement to or a condition upon the purchase of renewal of insurance. Now, here's the question in my mind, and I'm going to ask this question before you. Has anybody ever gotten a gift that is so great that the sole reason you use that person was for the gift? I don't think so. And to me, that's how I read this. If the gift is an inducement to purchase or renew the insurance. I've got an insurance agent. I get business insurance, car insurance, health insurance, life insurance. Same guy. I like Jake. I've used him for a number of years. Um, he's very responsive to me. I've got his home phone number. I've called him at home before. If he offered me a $25 Starbucks card, would I still use Jake? Yes. But am I only using him because of the $25 Starbucks card? I don't think so. Um, so I don't see this as being an issue, but yet they still want to make sure. If it's an unrelated to the purchase or the renewal of insurance, a small item with a fair value of $25 or less can be given. Okay. So if it's unrelated to the purchase or renewal of insurance, so Jake just randomly stops by and my insurance isn't due for renewal. He could probably give me a $5 Starbucks card and say, hey, I was just thinking of you. I know it's close to your birthday. Here's a $5 card. For the purpose of this bulletin, the department, the department, which is the DOI, considers a small item provided with every quote to be unrelated to the purchase of the renewal. So like a pen or a pads of paper, which believe it or not, some people might say it's an inducement, but if it's a small item that with every quote to be related to the purchase, to be unrelated, I misspoke. So if they're just quoting insurance and they give them a pen or, you know, $5 Starbucks card, this bulletin says it's unrelated. Contests, now title companies can have it, a contest or insurance companies. Uh, in which a consumer receives a free chance to win a prize are acceptable as long as they are open to the public and there's no obligation to purchase or renew the insurance to win. Prizes are not limited to 25. However, the aggregate number must be less than 25 per entrant or the average number. So let me give you an example. Let's say they're going to, uh, some insurance company is going to auction off a uh, Corvette Stingray. And for the purpose of this, it's $50,000. Well, if they give out 
50,000 tickets, how much is the value of each ticket? Wasn't a rhetorical question. I did the numbers easy. Yeah, a dollar, right? So each entry is a, has a value of a dollar. That would be okay because it's under the $25 limit. Theoretically, $50,000 ticket might only have to issue 2,000 tickets. That would be $25 per person. That would be allowed. Even though that the prize is more than $25, by giving away that the number of tickets that sufficiently treat the average of 25 is okay. Um, licensed producer may share commission with another licensed producer for selling, soliciting, or negotiating insurance. So they can share between licensed in the event that only one producer has the proper qualification. A commission or referral fee can still be shared as long as the non-qualified did not sell, solicit, or negotiate the insurance being sold. A producer may also pay a referral fee to a non-licensed person as long as that person does not sell, solicit, or negotiate. Sell, solicit, and negotiate requires an, a license. So if that kind of like a finder's fee, okay, that would be great. So you can't do what you two guys were talking about doing. I know it seems logical and it makes sense that I ought to be able to give, and I'm going to use the word kickback because we understand that, but you can't do that, okay?